Hi guys, and if you haven't watched the previous video, Happy New Year! The past couple weeks have been incredibly fun. We've been preparing for the new sporting season and the next tournament is up today as you're watching this. Now we spent the past two weeks preparing for this tournament and on the 3rd of January, I thought, let's record everything. I coincidentally recorded some stuff on the 1st and 2nd of January as well. So on Sunday we started off the year with three sessions of A-frame and as you can see Venus had a lot of fun. This was her third set of the day and she enjoyed herself um, and that day we also did two walks in the morning and one longer walk in the evening. A total of five kilometers we did that day. Then on Monday, Venus joined me for a run along the bike. It was six kilometers and it was a long, nice distance run after a very intense day before with the A-frame. And in the evening, we did another four kilometer walk in the dark. Now the next day, Tuesday, I filmed a lot more. It was when I decided I really wanted to vlog these two weeks and the preparation process just to take you along in the beginning of the new year. And what I was trying to show with this video is how I alternate intense days with days on which I do more distance and how much rest I give my dogs. And as I'm recording this, I'm sitting behind my desk. I'm completely soaked. I just got in from a walk. Uh, it's Saturday evening now, just the day before you're watching this, or at least before I'm uploading. Um, it's been storming for three days. It's windy, it's rainy. Um, the weather hasn't been great, but that was fine because we spent the last three days doing basically nothing but short walks. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. It is Tuesday and I'm planning to film um, until we have a tournament next week on Sunday so that you can see what we're doing to prep for it um, because the dogs have had some calm weeks just mainly walking um, and we're back doing lots of sports lots of activities but i kind of want to show you how we keep it healthy um, how we keep it varied how we keep it fun um, so i'm at a friend's place and we're about to do some track meal and I might try to film Venus's full 10 minutes for a separate video for the people that really like to watch it. Can be a bit boring, um, but yeah, um, we'll see if I manage um, for now. There she is, and we'll have some fun. <laughs> Pikachu was up first, but we really have to look at what she's doing, so training is more important than filming. She's in heat, so it was... Yeah! She fits the leuk! Pikachu! Pikachu is in heat, so this is very tiring and like intense for her, but 
She did quite well, actually. And she wants more. track mill and um, Venus had a lot of fun she was running um, into the sunlight in one of the directions so it was a bit difficult for her um, and filming was also difficult with handling so so it wasn't her best run but she did 100 repetitions which is good uh, she needs 90 and her personal best is 108 but that was when it was cloudy and uh, a lot colder so yeah I'm very happy with uh, how she did and we're now doing a drag pull so we're gonna have them do 50 meter sprints in a weight pull harness with some chains behind um, drag pull is one of the disciplines we do for the DSA and we also have that on the tournament um, next week so this is not gonna go very fast um, so this is not gonna go very fast but fast enough for me to have to have a head start Try to film this. It's gonna be difficult. Okay. Ja, hangt daar. Goed zo, Venus. Klaar, klaar. Goed zo. Ja, ik ben nog wel <laughs> Is het leuk?
Now, after spending Tuesday very active, on Wednesday it was again another day with long distance. So we went for a nice morning walk, and then in the afternoon we joined our friend for a five and a half or six kilometer hike in a forest nearby. So the dogs really got to sniff, they got to explore, but they didn't really put too much strain on their joints. So today has been a fairly quiet day. We did a lot of walking, so we did a lot of distance stuff. And other than that, the dogs just slept. And we're now finishing the day with a lovely natural chew snack. So this is some um, beef skin that has been boiled and dried. Hence, it's white, so it's not bleached. And they love this, absolutely love this. Then on Thursday, after a lovely morning walk, it was time for a game of fetch with Venus, which lasted about 10 minutes, and it's 10 minutes of consistent back and forth without breaks. Um, it gets her really tired because she plows through that field like a madman. She's really fast. Um, you can see that she's super, super hot by the end of it, and that's just 10 minutes of running. It's just very intense running. <laughs> and of course after a warm up walk at the start and a game of fetch we also have a cool down walk afterwards So today is a rest day, but we also have a vet visit with Mojo. She's having a tooth removed to match the other one because she broke it probably like a week ago. I don't know for sure. So yeah, let's go. Oh, oh, oh. 
Ja een beetje wankel, hè. So even though Mojo is recovering from anesthesia today, it's Venus who is hoarding the heating pad. Hey you. Hi. Hello. This was gifted to us from our wish list by someone named Luana. I don't know who she is, but I'm very happy with it and I think Venus is even more happy. <laughs> Mojo doesn't get to use it. Mojo. Venus. <laughs> now on Saturday Yori wasn't feeling too well. He had a fever the evening before and it came back on Saturday evening as well. Um, but he managed to bring me and Venus to the forest. We had a lovely hike. Again, the same route that we did with my friend on Wednesday, just a shorter distance on the same area. And in the evening we went for a longer walk with just Mojo and Venus. I didn't film, I don't think, because again it was dark, but we did do some stuff. Sunday I intended to meet with my friend who I did track meal with on Tuesday but her boyfriend ended up forgetting his coat at their family's house somewhere at the other end of Belgium so they had to drive up and back again because his office keys were in the coat so we couldn't meet together that day for more track meal training and I decided to have some fun with Venus on my own in the backyard and we worked on three different things so at first we did some obedience and directional work um, with treats on a balance block. Later on we worked on tug of war, hand tugging, which Venus is a fan of tugging with me, but biting isn't a strong suit. When we started bite work training when she was one and a half years old, she actually broke a tooth and it's really been a downer on her confidence in bite work. So this day I decided let's do a fun game. I always let her win every single time or I try to at least, sometimes she lets go, that's fine. I'm trying to get her energy up again and we keep going. And then as soon as I, as I let her win, I invited her to join me to run towards her treats, give her some treats, give her time to get her mind off of the treats again and excited about the toy. And I think it worked. I think it worked wonders. She had a lot of fun. Oh, my God. 
And then we finished with some hedge jump, a discipline we don't really practice much. Um, and again, yes. I decided to reach for the treats because the flirt pole didn't work too well. And uh, it worked. <laughs> I managed to go up in height as well. And she really liked it. I think she really yes. likes working for food. So I'm going to implement that more often. Yes. On Monday we started with another half hour walk, it was two and a half kilometers. So a nice distance to start the day and then we were off to a radiologist with Hunter. He has been limping only a little bit, twice in the last five months actually, and we were very concerned about his joints, ligament in the shoulder in particular, and we went back to his specialist to have a look over. The pain was gone, there was nothing to be seen, nothing to be found. Um, and we were given the okay to do a little bit more with him. So when we came home, it was time for a celebratory spring pole session. Oh, <laughs> 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 Nee. Wil je dat hij loslaat? Ja. Tuesday was a very fun one. We started with a morning walk of around 20 minutes and shortly after that my friend picked us up. The same friend that we trained track mill with the first Tuesday of this year. Come on, let's go. And we yes. did our first trial of a weight pull. Now Mojo was very unsure of what to do, but Venus was very good. She surprised all of us and I would love to pursue this with her. Um, I don't think she will do too bad on some tournaments. So let's see how we do. We also tried some wall climb. Now Venus, like I said, isn't the best biter and I didn't really want to try it with her because we are still building this, even though she is almost five years old. But Mojo had a go because this weekend we are doing wall climb on the tournament. So she had to learn what this wall is for, that she's not supposed to jump into it, but climb on it. Um, and I didn't film it. It was filmed upright by Vera, not sideways. So I couldn't include it in this video. But you might see it in next week's video when we have the tournament filmed. Because of course, tomorrow we will be filming the entire tournament. So last Wednesday was quite a quiet day. The dog slept in whilst I started working and we had a long morning walk. As you've been seeing on my phone, I make quite a few steps a day. Um, and that's because I also walk the neighbor's gun dog. I have a Vishla here named Nala, who I walk five days a week. 
and uh, every day we do two and a half kilometers in the morning or in the afternoon so this is where I get all my steps in um, not just my own dogs but also the neighbors Vishla and then in the afternoon we got an order in from Eco Wolf this is a company where we get our raw food and some treats and and Venus was very excited inspecting the boxes the first delivery of the year We did a lot more walking that day and I intended to do a little bit of training on Thursday but we weren't having it. It was rainy and as you can see Venus was so uncomfortable. These dogs are made of sugar. They didn't like it. <laughs> and it continued on Friday and on Saturday So we spent the last three days quiet, calm, not as calm when we were headed home though. As you can see, Mojo is very excited to head home. She always gets very feisty when it's rainy. It's quite cute. We have this towel by the door just to dry the dogs off, then hang it up in front of the fire to dry again for the next walk we take. And as I'm sitting here, it's Saturday evening, I'm soaked. I just came in from the from a walk with the girls. It was the wrong timing. It wasn't great. I'm about to take a shower. I'm freezing. So are the dogs probably. I dried them off. But today the dogs also enjoyed a snack just to decompress to enjoy the last day of relaxation. Tomorrow it should be dry and we are enjoying a tournament. And I'll be taking you along, of course. I recently invested in a new lens for my camera. It arrived yesterday, so we'll be trying that out tomorrow with a good microphone. So I hope that I can surprise you with some better footage. Come next week. But for now it's dinner time and then time for a good night's sleep. And we will see you again next week with hopefully a very fun and active vlog with 37 dogs, most of which are pit bulls, in a Belgian tournament with okay. six disciplines. I hope you had fun watching this vlog and we'll see you again very okay. soon. Goodbye.